Gurko van de Venter speaks regularly about his time as a hostage at these conferences. He was captured by a gang in 2017 in Libya, and the South African government refused to pay his ransom. Then they sold me to Al-Qaeda in Mali through their family and tribal connections. Because the leader of Al-Qaeda was in Libya and had worked for Gaddafi. He spent four harrowing days travelling by car to Mali. You climb up these huge sand dunes and then you think you're going to see the sea. Completely wild, no cars anywhere. And you go up and up thinking you're going to see the sea. And then another dune, all sand. Sometimes the sand was icy and I didn't have any shoes on. He was then held captive by Touaregs for six years north of Tessalitz near the Algerian border. He explains how he was punished one day for wasting his water ration. My punishment was to be shackled from 3 p.m. in the afternoon to 10 a.m. in the morning. For eight months, right? Yes, for eight months. But his capturers demanded a ransom to liberate him. We just wanted to raise money. And then they told us we had to raise just 5 million euros. <laughs> Cheap, cheap. The Algerian government, who freed Gurko, assures no ransom was paid. And since December 2023, he lives in the quiet town of Swellendam. He claims to have had no issue reintegrating. The biggest thing is, in a hostage situation, is that you have to accept that you're a hostage. If you're not going to accept that you're going to fight, I'm not a hostage, I'm not a hostage, you're mentally blocking yourself from taking the next step to survival. You have to do that mind shift. Otherwise, you're not going to come out in a, in a sane. You'll become crazy. He says he doesn't want to write a book. Gurko doesn't want to be a victim, rather a survivor. And he hopes to use his experience to help counter-terrorism units around the world.